Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of Lion Golf Academy, and welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to do a swing evaluation video, but it's not your typical swing evaluation videos that you see me doing of current students. This is a special one. Today, we have Steve Waltman, who I reached out through Instagram because I found this video and I thought it to be very prudent for what I teach my students about driver swings. Now, obviously, this is everyone's dream to try and hit a driver shaft that is 10 feet tall um, and it just shows that you can use a club that is extremely long but it takes an incredible amount of effort balance skill and obviously we need to carry along uh, about an eight foot drum to stand on but i'm going to play this video just to watch uh, how we keep <clears throat> he's able to keep his balance and rotate around but we're going to take a look at some lines too so let me just draw the plane line because what typically happens is when we are faced with a driver swing most of us tend to want to think that we have to swing aggressively, swing hard. Uh, but this is a good example of why you should not do that because the driver's circle is much wider than our wedge circle, than our iron circle, than our hybrid circle. It's the longest club in the bag. And it's also the, one of the lightest clubs in the bag. So when you increase your length and you also increase your strength or your motions, things can go awry pretty quickly. Most of the times we lose our posture, we lose our spine angle, we jump up at the golf ball, and we have errant shots. It's one of the most unforgiving clubs just because it's the, one of the lower lofted clubs. So when you, when you de-loft the club in terms of its static loft, your misses will be a lot more extreme than let's say a pitching wedge that has more loft. So keep that in mind. And the reason I say this is I'm teaching a student on one of my sites about drivers and we introduced him to a driver swing this weekend. Charles, if you're watching, uh, what's up? Hopefully you hit him straight along. Um, but what we talked about was the RPMs versus the miles per hour. So you would like the RPMs of your circle to be about the same. However, the longer the club gets, the miles per hour increases. So the two differences are, is think about the circles as you know that's your center and as you turn a small circle versus a large circle they still want the same rpms or revolutions per minute however the larger circle it becomes the faster miles per hour it becomes so there's no need to swing harder just let the club length do the work for you and on the contrary you should swing slower we're going to watch the swing in slow motion and you'll notice that he does not take an aggressive motion a because he's trying to stay upright and not fall and break his back and B, because he has to stay grounded with that long club. If he were, let's say he had super long legs and he had 10 foot legs and he was able to stay on the ground and he starts jumping at it with this long club, that club's gonna switch planes and bottom out about 10 feet behind the golf ball. So he has to remain in his posture. This is more like a swing I want you to emulate at home. So if we take a look at what happens to his plane, as he takes that extra long club back, you can see it wobbling back and forth. And I have no idea how he got that, that club shaft to, to stay up with his motions. It's pretty impressive. So as he takes that club back, you can see the arms are still kind of connected to the chest. That club is starting to weigh a lot more. So you'll see his left shoulder kind of raise up slightly to accommodate that, that extra long shaft. And the weight of that shaft is kind of pulling him out of his posture a little bit, but he tries his best to stay in that spine angle. You notice how he's in that back brace line, this line over here, to hold on to his what spine angle he can. His feet are nice and grouted. He waits for that club to set. He doesn't fire while the club's still setting because of that extra long weight and length of his arc. Now you notice what's happening with his lower body. It's just holding on. It's just giving him support while his upper body does most of the work. So he's starting to rotate with his upper body while his lower body's staying grounded. That club shaft is perfectly on plane. As it comes through, it's, you see that club is on plane. Look at that whip of the shaft. So obviously that shaft is gonna be very whippy compared to ones that we use because it's basically like a hose pipe. Now I would imagine that torque on the shaft must be pretty tight. So if you are watching Steve, let us know what type of shaft is that because I'm very curious. But as we get down into impact, we can see as he strikes the golf ball, he has to kind of stand up based on his original spine angle just because that club shaft is so long that he's making room, he's clearing his body and he's rotating as much as he can because he cannot turn with his lower body and drive. As he follows through, he's able to release it. You can see the, the, the barrels that he's standing on kind of moving with that weight transfer. So he's trying to do as best as he can. Our right hand flips over, but his hands are still connected to his chest and it's back on plane. So this is just an elongated, elongated version of a driver swing. But what can we take from this? Stable lower body, slow rotation, let the club keep up with your turn. 
because it is moving at a much faster miles per hour naturally. You don't have to increase your speed, and if you do, your circle will disconnect even faster, leaving you with an insufficient impact zone, flippy release, body man out, contact issues, direction issues. Does it sound familiar? Because I know it does to me, and I need to slow down as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Give Steve Waltman on uh, Instagram a shout out. Uh, give him a follow too. He has some great videos up there that you can watch. He's a pretty talented individual. But hopefully you enjoyed that. If you liked that, hit that like and subscribe. And we'll be up with another video for uh, Reddit Gossiping Analysis 41 episode tomorrow. Fairways and Greens. <laughs>